Hello and welcome back to Flying Murph channel. Um, it's been a while since I've made a video but I thought I just had to show you this. Um, this is one of the new designs from Chris Click at Right Wing RC. Um, you know, as you know, uh, Right Wing makes arguably some of the best in the world Delta Wing airplanes. Now this one, um, as I'm sure you will agree, is kind of unusual to say the least. I mean, this is a shape that um, we don't see very often. In fact, I don't know of anything else that, that looks quite like it. So, um, it is basically a delta wing, but of course it has a, a very odd shape because it has that um, protruding um, fuselage coupled with a forward swept wing. So, when I first saw this, I didn't really know if I liked it. You know, it's, it's very unusual. However, I think um, it certainly does grow on you. So for me personally, um, I have grown to really like it. I, I like the shape. I mean, it's, it's unusual. Um, it's something special. But where it really shines, and this is what's important, of course, is the way that it flies. So um, the model that I have here is uh, essentially just a pre-production model. Um, it's hand cut from EPP foam. But this is destined to be molded in EPP as well. And um, I think if all goes according to plan, the idea is that it should become available as a kit um, around about August of 2015. One of the features that I really like about this plane is its versatility. Um, the versatility uh, comes from the fact that you have a lot of space to put stuff. So. Essentially the whole of the fuselage from front to back is an open channel that you can use to place things. Um, I will open it just now. Um, and then you also have two areas on the wing saddles um, where you can cut um, you know, equipment bays and you can use that for, for whatever suits your, your needs. So you, know, you can use it for autopilots, um, speed controllers, um, sensors, you know, what, whatever. So basically, you know, because you have this long channel, um, you have a lot of freedom to move things back, backwards and forwards, so that you can, you know, have different configurations and still manage to hit the CG of the airplane very easily. So let's take a look inside here. Um, I've I've got two equipment bays on the wing saddles. So this one is destined to hold a, a Pixhawk. So right now for the maiden flight, um, I did not have an autopilot installed. Um, but there you can see I, I did make a pocket there for the GPS. So I will just have a Pixhawk unit going in there as well. And then on the right hand side, um, at this stage, I'm using it for a receiver. So, so there you can see a long range um, Tyrannus receiver. So eventually I, I will probably um, use a UHF system in this aircraft, but for now I'm using 2.4 with the Tyrannus. And then for the fuselage, I actually divided that into two bays. So the one is going to be remaining mostly undisturbed, and that's where I have my electronic speed controller. Um, and I also have a, a UBIC sitting there in front, right there. So um, the idea here is that equipment that you will rarely have to, you know, do anything with, that will just basically stay in place, will go into this back compartment. And because I chose to put my ESC there, um, I also made sure that I have some airflow. So you know, as I usually do, uh, cut a, an opening in the front, which is a little bit smaller than the opening in the back. And then if we get to the, the main compartment, so this is huge. I mean, you, you have lots and lots of space um, for putting stuff in. So the idea eventually with this plane for me is going to be um, to have a, a decent payload in terms of battery. I'm probably going to use um, 8 to 10,000 milliamp hours of 4S. And then on top of that, for, the, for this equipment bay, 
I will have a camera holder in this area. So um, I will have access to the battery and the camera. So those things that, that you will take in and out, you know, between flights, those all go into this main battery compartment. I put some Velcro here and that's basically just to stick a Mobius or something like that on top of it uh, for some additional video. Now for the maiden flight um, I use these batteries. These are from ReadyMade RC 5100 mAh 4S and um, these batteries fit very nicely um, in parallel right in front in the nose of this aircraft. So this is what I used for the maiden flight. Um, and it actually balances perfectly with just these two batteries right in the front of the nose. Um, essentially these two batteries will go right in the front and they go one next to the other. And there I sit. So in this configuration um, with essentially 10,200 milliamp hours of 4S in those batteries, um, it balances perfectly. So the final configuration will have slightly smaller. I will have one, probably you know, one battery only, uh, most likely 8,000 milliamp hour 4S, and then the camera payload will be at the back. So um, that's what I mean about the versatility. There's a, a lot of options. You can have you know, different payloads of battery. Now you can load this thing up with with even more battery and get really long flight times as well. I'm sure a lot of users um, will be making use of this front area you know, for FPV cameras. So this is, a, this is a nice area where you can build something um, that can take a GoPro or a Mobius you know, and a GoPro and a, um, you know, a small flight camera, you know, like a 600 TV line uh, little camera. So, there is just a, a lot of options, you know, things that you can do because you have the space and you have you know, a long fuselage so you can place things and, and adjust your CG as I said before. So, um, I just wanted to give you a quick overview at this stage. Um, I will do uh, you know more in-depth review of this you know, when I have more experience with the aircraft. But um, I just have to say, you know, at this stage, I am extremely impressed with it. Um, I will show you a little bit of flight footage from the maiden flight. And um, you can judge for yourself. But if you ask me, you know, this is a typical right-wing aircraft. In the sense that it flies well, it has no vices. It's well designed, it's robust. Um, you know, it's something that you can throw in the air and you just know it will go. You know, it's something that flies um, in many ways similar to a pattern airplane. So it, it goes where you point it. Um, you can go fast and slow. You don't have to change your trims whether you go at a different speed or not. Um, and you know you can fly you know, right side up inverted. You can you know, fly long smooth lines. You can make sudden turns. Um, the plane just takes what you throw at it. So. This is just an all-around pleasure to fly. Um, you'll see when I did the, um, you know, the initial flight, the maiden flight, I, I was doing tricks, you know, loops and Immelman turns and all kinds of things um, on the maiden flight. And that's just because, you know, after just a very short time, you develop confidence in this airframe. You know, it's, it just flies so well. So, um, without further ado, let me show you the, the maiden flight footage. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm just gonna. That's exactly right. I'm just gonna test everything. I'm just gonna run up the motor first to make sure it's okay. Does it push nicely? Yep. Okay. Hey, she flies!
Yeah.